What makes a builder successful is not how many homes a year they build or even how much money they make. What makes a builder successful in large part is how much money they get to keep. And that's basically determined by how well they control their callback costs. Now, building science experts like myself have noticed an alarming number of construction defects related to water and moisture problems. And the majority of those are around windows and doors. The lack of flashing is the big cause. One of the most common construction defects that I see is illustrated in this picture. Uh, what you can see, if water were running down this wall, it would run right in between the gap between the nail fin and the sheathing at the window head. Now, oftentimes, builder will just caulk this joint, but the reason why that's not acceptable is, one, it's probably in violation of the manufacturer's window installation instructions, and two, caulking joints typically don't last for the long haul. Uh, for example, if you look at this picture, you can see what happens to the nail fin between the sheathing and where the nail fin would adhere where a caulking joint would be. It's all warped and it's deflected and so eventually that would pull away from the caulking creating a window leak. Another common defect I see is reverse flashing at the window head. For example here you can see that the secondary moisture barrier comes down over the top of the nail fin of the window and then a piece of peel and stick flashing is stuck uh, to the building wrap. Well, that really doesn't provide a great deal of value. How that should have been flashed is that the peel and stick flashing should have been stuck to the nail fin, go up underneath the secondary moisture barrier, and stuck to the sheathing. Then with the secondary moisture barrier down over the top of the uh, flashing in the nail fin. Another common defect I see is at the sill of the window. Here's where we can see that the uh, sill flashing is reverse shingled. It's actually behind the secondary moisture barrier. Builder spent a lot of money on that, and unfortunately it was wasted. This secondary moisture barrier should have been tucked up underneath the flashing so that any water that gets out of the sill of the window goes over the flashing onto the secondary moisture barrier and then out to daylight. Now, flashing problems are almost always the culprit behind window and door leaks. Occasionally windows leak, but the majority of times people just do not flash according to ASTM E2112. So a common sense solution to water and moisture problems is really simple flashing around doors and windows and other penetrations such as dryer vents, electrical panel boxes, and it makes sense to use a butyl-based product because of its long-term ability to stick under high moisture conditions.